Hello guys, uh, how's everything going? Um, this day I just did an interesting experiment with Grasshopper. Um, I figured out, figure out a way to simulate water flow. Um, it kind of really makes sense to me. Uh, what I did is actually, uh, you see here, this is mesh service. Right? It's like a topo, it's assuming if this was a topo line, right? And um, what I did was I just smooth uh, operation on this topo line because you know sometimes the mesh service is not that perfect. It's not like a smooth. Uh, I smooth it, make it uh, easier to calculate, but it still keep the existing topo. See here, that's perfect topo line, topo you know service, and um, and then I did it. I using uh, Kangaroo. Uh, it's a fantastic simulator in the uh, Rhino, um, Rhino Glass Hopper, it can, it's actually a physical engine, uh, it will, um, for example in this tool, it just tell us if if the line, if the points, you know, go to uh, leave the mesh, right, they will pull it to the mesh, which means just make the, all the points on mesh, okay, uh, and you force, which is give them a force, that is with the direction you want them to be. Okay, so and then and then you know I just simulate it and run it and uh, I create uh, I record the all the points. For example, we will look at here, pull up here. See here, I just simulate the raindrop. I randomly created uh, points on this mesh, uh, which is like a raindrop, right? Because raindrop to the earth, not in specific area, but all over the place, randomly. Okay. So with this uh, points, and then uh, I will let the points move in the surface, okay? And then I can tell where these points go. So this is the results. Uh, if you look at it, um, see here, all those points were eventually going somewhere, right? And um, it really makes sense to me because if you look at the topo, right? Uh, the points are kind of too big. Let me cancel that height points. So it kind of makes sense. Um, if you, you see here, all the points will flow. You'll find the lowest places, and because water, usually you know, because of gravity, right, they flow to the low lower places, right. So I got all the you know water, water, water flow of from the service, okay, and based on the uh, randomly created water, water flow, okay. Um, so I will try to use this to simulate what happens on the surface when there's rainstorm or those kind of events happen. And then um, what I did is um, there's another issue is in here all the, for example. Um, for example, points down here, they will flow, always flow, okay, but that's not usually the truth, uh, usually, you know, water, um, they flow, they cannot flow that long because, you know, soil, a lot of land, they absorb water, right, so they will eventually, especially for previous service, right, Previous land, they will, you know, it's per permeable. So the water will eventually go down to the soil. So I set up a previous level to simulate uh, what happened. Okay, what happened with that? So instead of this, uh, if w I add the permeable, permeable level, then see here the water come here, and then so this water, the water from here. They may not eventually go down to the very lower places. Okay, so uh, I just add another factor down there. And what I did was uh, on this one, all I did is uh, I would like to show in this service, right, when there's a storm event, uh, where's the places like most water, uh, you see here, uh, most water coming here and they gathered and then gathered here and then gathered down, right? But here is like a watershed. Uh, this like a watershed. 
and uh, like this area and this area w is like uh, most of the water will gather down here. Um, what I call it run off space. Okay, it's um, during storm water. These kind of places are more likely to get puddle or drainage issues. Okay. So I just did that and I created, I calculated the value and I did an illustration. You'll see um, these are lines, right? And vertical lines and the more, the higher the vertical line, the more easier they will, you know, get runoff or drainage pressure, which means they will, uh, during the storm war, they will suddenly have a higher issue of drainage, okay? And also, I created um, with this. I created a map, and th what this map do is let me cancel the. Uh, and what this map is actually just highlight um, the value of runoff stress. Okay, so for example, um, it's like a contour lines, but it, it's like the value of contour. For example, here. And here, and here, they're like doing storm more. They're more likely to be to have flood issue or something like that. Okay, and uh, or others. So this is like just highlight the areas. Uh, for example, this area, I'm less likely as this area. Okay, and the area in here more likely. So, so that's 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 this one. And uh, if you will see. Uh, it become more make sense and also I color render them um, you'll see here um, you know to darker the color the small one when they get flooded um, so I feel like this is a pretty good way to simulate what happened on site um, and uh, hope you enjoy it if you have any other question or you want to know how I did it I'm gonna okay, I'll show you my approach so that's it for today. Um, if you have any question, let me know.